early start for you, this, isn't it? Couldn't you sleep? I couldn't actually, no, Rita. Uh, excitement. Hey, no bedroom secret. I'll go on before Mavis comes back. Business expansion with a bit of luck. I'll soon be moving in. T-shirt's not doing well? Oh, great, yeah, but it's not good enough, is it? The real money's in manufacturing. Oh, you tell that to Mike Baldwin. They knocked his factory down. Yeah, well, he's a uh, small time, isn't he? Always was, always will be. Thanks, Will. There See you. So, this is the finalised menu, huh? Looks good, Alma. Well, we can't send him away hungry, can we? No, this is terrific. I can't tell you what I help you, Ben. You're really taking the pressure off. I just wish I had you with me in New York last year. Oh, well, that would have been nice. Yeah, it would have been. As it ended up, it was a disaster. Rude waiters, inedible food. Not this time. I'm a success before I started, thanks to you. Oh, I wish I had your confidence. Hey, sit down. Come on, my sister won't mind for a minute. Now, what's with the uh, self-deprecation? Is this uh, something British or peculiar to you? Well, which answer would you like best? I mean, I'm here to please. <laughs> you see, where I come from, people wear their egos on their sleeves. If you got something going for you, you might as well show it. What, in business, you mean? In life, in anything. Oh, well, I suppose it all boils down to feelings, doesn't it? And, well, me, I think I'm a bit afraid of showing my feelings. I'm even afraid of my feelings sometimes. I'm coming on too strong. Life is too short, Alma. Go for it. Hey, look, here's mine. What do you want, Miss? So, uh, what's going on here? Uh, we're discussing Alma's future, aren't we? Alma? Yes, just the uh, K back. Do, uh, do, do you want to keep that? Yeah, thanks. Now, come on, you're buying your mother a drink. I'm sorry, look, I'm just saying nothing, aren't we? Oh, no, no, it's okay. We're finished, aren't we? Yeah, listen, thanks for this, and uh, I'll keep in touch. Yeah. Gail, bye. Oh, bye, Stephen. Bye, man. Nice talking to you. Hello, love. All right. Well, like I said, premises, labour, no problem, and I've been at the counter all morning preparing those figures you wanted. They're in there. Do you mind if he reads it some other time, Mike? He's with his mother. Oh, sorry. I mean, if I'm in the way, then... Uh... Uh, not at all. And uh, I'll read it later, I promise, Mike. Right. More drinks. No, we're OK, honest. Right, well, uh, if you want me, Stephen, I'll be over there. Thanks again. <sighs> Bums rush, if ever, as all. You should know. You've had enough in your time. Uh, usual, please, Betty, when you've got a minute. Go on, then. Whatever he wants. Right, love. No, not for me, Betty. I'm off. Oh. Very generous of you, but I've got people to see, you know. All right, I'll give you a bit of advice instead. It's too big for you. Well, let me guess. Uh, my car. No. No, my head. You know what I'm talking about. Do I? The rag trade. So whatever Carrie Meyer said, forget it. All right, so that's what you're talking about. Well, if they're mentioning my name in high places, they must be taking me seriously, mustn't they? Seriously? A T-shirt, Dorber. I made quite an impression, actually, Mike. I reckon I could clinch it with Stephen now, but, well, you know, I didn't want to intrude when he's with his family. I think I'm as desperate as you are. See ya. Answer? Uh, g and please, and a mineral water. Ice again, or is it too cold for you? Oh, yes, please. It's a little bit warmer here than it is at home. <laughs> Let me get these. It's the least I can do for batting in. Thanks, if you insist. You'll uh, have to forgive Mum. She's feeling a little bit left out. <laughs> no problem. She tells me you ran a tight ship when you had the place across the street. Firm but fair. Ask anyone that worked for me, they'd tell you that. Um, Mr. Baldwin. Yeah, not now, son. I'm busy. That's oh, sharp talk. You can keep. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, what do you want? Um, I wondered if I could have like, a couple of hours off this afternoon. A couple of hours off? What for? I'm not sure. You, you see, this friend of mine wants to live somewhere and I'm... Well, you want a couple of hours off, but you don't know what for. Um, no. Perhaps I could tell you afterwards, you know, when I've been. Sounds intriguing. Yeah, very intriguing. <laughs> All right, off you go. Only because you're good at what you do. All right, well, thanks, Mr. Baldwin, and I'll come in early tomorrow and make the time up. Yeah, you do that. How much, Betty? Two thirty-nine, Mike. Take one yourself. Oh, Tarlow. Oh, Oops, sorry. <laughs> thanks, Mike. That's okay. Firm but fair. No good wielding the stick, is it? Counterproductive. Yeah. Thanks. I don't care how many miles have separated you, you can still tell your brother and sister. <laughs> it's not so much miles as years. He's got your nature too. Affable, easygoing, warm-hearted. Mike, you don't have to flatter me. I've told Alma I'll help you tomorrow. I'm just saying I like Stephen. We get on. That matters in business. Helps, I suppose. I can't see it matters. Hey, there's another thing you've got in common. You say what you mean, you mean what you say. See you, girl. Bye, Alma. Bye. Uh, Look, I'm sorry to keep mothering, but I just wanted to make sure everything went smoothly tomorrow. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Mm.
town hall again. They must think I'm neurotic the way I keep checking on everything. What have you done to your husband? Why? What's up with him? He likes me all of a sudden. Oh, 